the end of 2020 is drawing nearer and nearer, and Star Wars fans are finding it hard to contain their excitement. The Skywalker saga may have already reached a conclusion, but we still have a lot of Star Wars content to look forward to. Apart from the ongoing Mandalorian series, the highly anticipated Star Wars The High Republic is finally set for release come January 5, 2021. While waiting for the launch of these new set of content, it's time to discover how different the Star Wars sequel trilogy would have been if these unused ideas made the cut. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we are going to reveal 15 of the best ideas that almost made it to the Star Wars sequel trilogy movies. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. We've got lots of surprises in store for you, so let's get started. Number 15. The Underwater Millennium Falcon As far as any Star Wars fan is concerned, the Millennium Falcon is the sweetest ride out there. But did you know that, apart from being the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, there were plans to let the Falcon journey underwater too? In this early concept on the official Star Wars Twitter account, you'd see an image of a submerged Millennium Falcon headed toward the spire where Emperor Palpatine's throne room sat. Come to think of it, considering how adventurous its passengers are, doesn't it make total sense for the Falcon to be both airtight and watertight? Number 14. An Alcoholic Han Solo Everyone's favorite scoundrel almost had an entirely different introduction in The Force Awakens. After separating with Leia and their son, instead of going back to smuggling, a concept art posted on Instagram by Lucasfilm artist Christian Alsman shows Han drowning his problems in alcohol in some seedy establishment. It would have been a nice addition for Solo's character development. Plus, it sounds like something he'd do, seeing as how his first appearance in the movies was also inside a pub. But the creators feel that it would have been a little too heavy for what was supposed to be an upbeat movie. Number 13. That poor Porg It's hard not to compare Porgs with Ewoks. They're essentially there to appeal to kids and sell merchandise. But remember that scene in The Last Jedi where Porgs are seen playing with Luke's discarded lightsaber? In the movie, they never did manage to switch on the lightsaber. But if they did, this unused concept art would have been in that scene. Older viewers may have appreciated this bit of dark humor, but luckily for the kids, the creators decided against it. Think these are intriguing? Wait till we reveal the other surprises we've uncovered, especially number one, which is going to be a sure shocker. Back to our list, number 12, The Floating Hand. It's not a Star Wars movie unless it has the iconic opening text crawl that then pans down to reveal a planet. In The Force Awakens, one of the original plans was for the opening crawl to pan down not to a planet, but to a hand. And guess whose hand it is? Yep, Luke Skywalker's. The hand that Darth Vader chopped off of him in The Empire Strikes Back is seen floating through space, still clinging onto the lightsaber. It then burns up as it enters planet Jakku's atmosphere. The lightsaber lands, and Rey picks it up. According to Mark Hamill, although they decided in the end not to veer away from tradition, this alternate opening made it to a rough cut of the film. Number 11. Not a Planet The Last Jedi also almost had a different opening shot. In this alternate opening, the crawl pans down to reveal what looks like a planet at first glance, but is then revealed to actually just be the domed top of Finn's medical capsule. Similar with the severed hand, this opening didn't make the final cut, but this one was in the deleted scenes of the home release. Number 10. Rey, aka Kira According to Daisy Ridley, before filming The Force Awakens, the female lead was supposed to be called either Kira with a double E or an I. 
J.J. Abrams then decided to change it to Ray last minute, but the name Kira wasn't completely abandoned. It was changed slightly into Kira for Emilia Clarke's character in Solo, A Star Wars Story. Number 9. A Ball Kylo Ren? Early concept art for The Force Awakens shows Kylo Ren as being a completely bald character. Director Rian Johnson wanted Kylo's duality of being part good, part bad to be depicted in his looks. And a harsh, bald look would have been a nice contrast for the sleeker, smoother outfit that was originally planned for him. But they later decided that the luscious head of hair looked better for the dreamiest bad guy in all of Star Wars. Number 8. The War Hammer First, they had the Death Star. Then they had the Star Killer base. The bad guys always seem to get all the cool super weapons, right? Well, in The Force Awakens, the Resistance was also supposed to have their own secret super weapon, the War Hammer. Unfortunately, they decided that it would have been useless because the War Hammer would have been destroyed anyway. But don't you think it would have been cool for the good guys to have a super weapon too? Number 7. The Ghost of Anakin and Darth Vader Some people say that the Skywalker Saga is the story of Anakin. The prequel explains his rise, the original trilogy shows his fall, and the sequel is about his legacy. Whichever way you look at it, it's inarguable that his character remained important in the sequel trilogy. And though he was largely absent in the sequel, and his comeback in The Rise of Skywalker was only in voice form, this wasn't originally the case. The plan was for Anakin's ghost to come back, one that flows back and forth between Darth Vader and Annie, to depict a character with a dark and light side. Number 6. Leia, the full-blown Jedi Although it was revealed in Return of the Jedi that Leia is a Skywalker, we never really got to see fully her Force sensitivity. This was something George Lucas wanted to show off in the sequel trilogy and, in Lucas's version of the movies, he intended for Leia to be a full-blown Jedi. Too bad this idea did not make it to the movies anymore. Though we did see Leia training with Luke in one flashback for the rise of Skywalker. And who could forget that flying through space scene in The Last Jedi. We are now down to our last five, and here's one that even the actor himself wish had happened. Number five, a different Luke. Originally, Luke Skywalker was going to be characterized based on what was in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, in which he had a wife and kids. According to writer Timothy Zahn, the Star Wars saga was intended to be a generational thing. The prequels were about Anakin, the original about his son Luke, and the sequels about Luke's children. To Mark Hamill's disappointment, Rian Johnson took Luke's art in a completely different direction, and he was instead characterized as a bitter hermit who couldn't care less about what's happening to the galaxy. And though he was killed off in the middle of the trilogy, Hamill said that he happens to know that George Lucas didn't intend for Luke to be killed until the very end. Number 4. The Wills of the Force so, the prequel trilogy was about the rise of the Empire, while the original trilogy chronicled its fall. To up the ante, George Lucas wanted the sequel trilogy to be about something more than just about the rise and fall of yet another empire. According to one interview by James Cameron, George Lucas confirmed that his plan was for the sequel trilogy to dive deep into the microscopic world of the Wills the infinitesimal life forms living within four sensitive people and responsible for communicating with the midichlorians. This would have taken away the mysticism of the Force, but that's exactly what George was going for. For the Force not to be some inexplicable magical energy, but one that is grounded in a biological world. This was largely ignored by Disney, but 
it would have been a fascinating new angle for the saga. Making it to number 3, R2-D2's Storytime. Another George Lucas idea that was dumped was for the Star Wars saga to conclude with a flash forward to the distant future. Here, you'd see that the only remaining survivors of the saga's events are the droids. And then we watch as they reveal that the whole saga was actually being recounted to a Keeper of the Wills by everyone's favorite OG droid, R2-D2. Yeah, it sounds a bit cheesy, but that would have been a nice way to tie the whole thing up in a neat bow. Number 2. No redemption for Ben Solo Before it became the Rise of Skywalker that we know, a script for Episode 9 was written by Colin Trevorrow, titled Duel of the Fates. Here, despite Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Luke's best efforts, Ben would have been too far gone into the dark side to achieve any form of redemption at the end. From the very beginning of the trilogy series, it was already obvious how Ben's arc was telegraphed as a redemption arc, so not giving him that would have been less predictable, not to mention more justifiable given the irredeemable things he's done, like mass murder. But that might have been too bad an ending for Disney, right? We're finally down to number one, and this also has something to do with how the entire saga would have ended. At number one, moving past the Sith and the Jedi. In the final battle at the Rise of Skywalker, Emperor Palpatine declares that he is all the Sith, to which Rey responded by declaring that she is all the Jedi, before defeating him and bringing peace back to the galaxy. Also in Colin Trevorrow's original script for Episode 9, this wouldn't have been the case. The dichotomy of the Jedi and the Sith keeps leading to war. Because of this, originally, Leia was to encourage Rey to put an end to those antiquated religions by giving up her pursuit of becoming a full-blown Jedi and by becoming something new. Now, we don't know what that new thing would have been, but man, wouldn't that have been an awesome conclusion? What do you think? Which of these ideas deserve to have made it to the movie? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.